Hello and welcome to another immersive engineering video. In this video I will talk about the power distribution system or power transfer methods in this mod and it's quite a big subject and I'm covering this before I will cover power generation because if you don't know how to transfer and distribute your power then you shouldn't start <laughs> producing it. So there will be transformers, capacitors, wires and uh, everything related to transferring power from point 1 to point 2 or A to B. So let's get started with some tools and some of the items I will use early on. First of all the hammer, we have covered this before, you just need it. And then we have the treated wood planks that we need creosote oil to make with no more planks. And then after that we can make two very important tools. First, the wire cutters. Just treated sticks and an iron ingot. This tool will disconnect wires that we have connected. So if I just right click on, on, on this connector, then the wire will drop. So all the wires connected to this point will loosen up. If I right click on this point, then both of them will. So, yep, that's the wire cutter. You will need it. You don't have to build it, but it's cheap enough and it will be very useful. Then we have the voltmeter. This, again, easy to build, compass, three sticks. This will allow you to monitor the capacity in, uh, in capacitors. For example, if I just look at this one, energy stored 100k, and that you can see on the Whaler tooltip as well. On this side we have zero, as the tooltip says, and you can also use it to calculate the power loss in a system. For example, if I shift right click on this one, and then shift right click on this one, or on this one perhaps. Yeah, from this point to this point. Then you can see we have a 1.875% power loss. Uh, this is different for different tiers of, uh, of power, low, medium and high, or yep. So I will demonstrate this once again when I built up another net, but the higher the tier, the lower the loss in the system. So shift right click to calculate the average loss between two points. Then we have the wire. There are three tiers, as I said. We have the low voltage wire, copper and sticks to make that. We have the medium voltage, electrum and sticks. And then we have the high voltage aluminum or aluminium and steel ingots around a stick. So the, uh, the only difference between these is what they connect to and how much power they can transfer. Uh, 2000, 8000 and 32,000 RF per tick. And these tiers are very logical. Basically you keep low voltage wires to low voltage capacitors or low, low power capacitors and um, low voltage connectors and then the medium voltage and then the high voltage. Basically you don't mix them, you do, you keep to one tier at a time. I will come back to these numbers and I will demonstrate how that works later on. Just remember that there are three tiers and that the figures are well, they, are <laughs> they differ quite a lot. So now we know how to transfer power or in what medium to transfer power. Then it's time to take a look at what we can store power in. Then we have the capacitors. Treated wood planks, redstone, lead, copper, iron. We get the low voltage capacitor. The maximum you can store in this one is what we can see over here is 100,000 RF. So not very much, but it's a cheap block to build. The medium voltage capacitor, 
block of redstone, lead, electrum, nothing strange with that. And then finally, the high voltage capacitor, block of lead, aluminium, block of redstone, steel. So these can store all, all your power, they can input and they can output, and you need wires between them, but we're missing one de detail, the in-out block or item. And before we go into them, let me just mention one more block. We have iron grit, cactus green glass to make the insulating glass. This, you can use it by itself. Looks like this. Looks quite okay, I think. But it's also needed for some crafting ingredients or crafting recipes. We have here the connectors. The connectors are used to transfer power into or out from a capacitor. You need it to, when you produce power, you connect a capacitor or a connector, and then you draw a wire to a place where you can store or use the, the power. And you always use the connectors to transfer your power in and out of any block. So hardened clay and copper for the low voltage. We have iron ingots and hardened clay for the medium voltage. And then for the high voltage, we use hardened clay and aluminium. Now, we have the power requirements or power limitations on these ones as well. You see, this low, low voltage can extract and or receive 256 RF per tick. And this matches quite well with the low voltage capacitor, which also has a limitation of 256 RF per tick. And don't worry, I will go into this in detail, but you can output 256 RF per tick, then you will use a low voltage wire, which can handle 2000 RF per tick. So what you can do is you can have eight inputs from uh, one low voltage wire connector and then use only one wire to transfer all that power up to 2048. After that you will need medium voltage and so on. There's also a function called a relay or a block called relay. This one, insulating glass and iron to make the high voltage wire relay. This one is used only to transfer power Dist over distances. You can see over there in those poles I have attached one relay where we connect wires to, con to transfer power over distances. That's only needed for the high voltage. For medium and low you will use the connector both for in-out and for transfer power over distances. And I will show this again once we get over there. So, to sum up, we have tools, we have wires with limitations, we have capacitors to store, and we have connectors to connect to machines or to, to capacitors to transfer in or out of them. Now, let's start with the examples, okay? So, as you can see, we have a low voltage capacitor here, 100,000 RF, and this one is empty. And we have the medium voltage full and medium voltage empty and high voltage full and high voltage empty. Basically, what we do now is to... Oh, well, before I do that, let me just demonstrate how these work. You can see that there are blue and gold, uh, gold copper colored uh, colors here. These are the in and out configurations. On, an, on a no configuration you have a block like this, then you have no input or no, and no outputs. Right click once and you will get the input, blue and copper, that means input, once again and you have the output and you can do this on several sides, doesn't matter, they all work independently of each other. So now it's an output. 
and you can yeah you can shift right click to change to this side so let's input shift right click again output and shift right click again and it's blank now let's set all these to outputs we can set the low voltage here and here the medium voltage here and here and the high voltage in the same way connect the low voltage wire the medium voltage and high voltage and now we can see that the RF is ticking can we do it like this shift right click between points shift like like this 1.8 shift right click here to here you can see that the uh, the loss is lowering a lot shift right click and shift right click even lower so the power loss in the high voltage is half of the medium and the half the medium voltage is half of the low voltage so as you can see here we almost have 100,000 you can see the loss we lost uh, 1500 roughly here we lost a little less and over here even less again so now we transferred power that was quite simple now this part could be a machine and or several machines for that for that matter and this one is our storage or perhaps a machine like the arc furnace or the crusher so you still use the connector in the same way they're just very convenient to use the capacitor so you don't always have to do that but this is a quite close distance perhaps not <laughs> very useful and this distance is the maximum distance one wire can reach it's the same for all tiers and it's quite a few blocks but probably you will need to transfer power over quite large distances and then we can use the pole the wooden post I mean just use your treated wood again stone bricks treated wood from treated sticks and craft your pole now you need the hammer to configure this so you can right click on these uh, these arms like this right click again to remove it when you, once you have configured the side like this or like this just place your connectors bottom side top side perhaps something like this and then you try attach your wires like this perhaps you go from here to here all right make sure to use the correct wires medium voltage to medium voltage and high voltage to high voltage and here we run into the problem that I mentioned before you can use the connector for low voltage and medium voltage in these posts and uh, on any block for that for that matter but these high voltage wire connectors are only for in out not for not for transferring powers then we have the hardware high voltage wire relay and with that we can connect to some other things but then we need to detach this one connect the oh, like that because these low voltage and medium voltage can be connected to several points and they can be used in posts but in high voltage you can only have one wire to one relay so this one can't be connected because we can only have one input and one output and then we need the relays and from here we can connect over here and let's see perhaps on this side if I can reach that far no I can't so we can connect it like this connect the power another relay 
like here from here. So the relays can attach to several points. The connectors cannot in high voltage, but the low and medium, they can. All right, hopes that's clear enough. Here to here, see, very easy. So I think we can move on. You have seen the connectors, how to connect them, the limitations. We can have the medium voltage from here to here, here to here. So these act as relays in low and medium voltage. Relays and connectors are the same in that in those tiers, but in high voltage, you need connector and relays, and they work in slightly different ways. Okay. So now when we know how to do that, it we can simply place our connector. Right click over here, right click and start the transfer with that setting. And it ends up over here. Okay, simple. And we can of course double check how much loss we have from here to here, 10% loss. So we should end up at 90K, I think. Something like that. Okay, high voltage again, let's Take this one more time, like this, connect hardware, high voltage over here, and then from this point back to this. And when we start, everything should be okay. And the distance from here to here, 2.5%. So a lot less losses at higher voltage than the lower voltage. But sometimes you perhaps want to keep an eye on what's happening. It, uh, even though this is not very hard, it can be easy to get things wrong when, uh, when you're learning the mod. So we should take a look at another very useful block. To do that, we are getting into the transformation and current overview over the monitoring parts. So we need three new items. We need the copper wire coils, low wire around iron, or medium voltage around iron to get the electron wire coil. And then high voltage wire coil from our high voltage wire around ingot, iron ingot. Now with these voltmeters, copper wire coils, hardened clay, we can make the current transformer. This is an item that will help you to monitor the current flow in a system. So if we take a look at this setup, these capacitors will represent four different machines each, perhaps four, di four different power generation machines. Okay. So I'm using four outputs for medium voltage. And if you remember correctly, then you can remember that we can have for one wire, we can have eight outputs or inputs. We have 8,000 RF per tick in one wire, but only 1,000 can be extracted with one connector. So we have to use eight of these connectors, eight outputs from uh, capacitors or from machines to max out one line. So here we have four, here we have four. Connect all these to a connector hanging like this. This acts as, an re as a relay in like one of those. So if this was high voltage, you would have a relay here instead of a connector. But for low and medium, we can just use connectors. So 1000 per each, and then 8000 in this one. So when I connect, this, let's see, we have, I need one of these. Medium wire, like this, connected here to here. So now we could actually run 8,000 RF per tick through this wire, because the wire can handle that. 
but over here we only have one connector and that will limit the system if we just turn it on if we just right click on this block 1034 RF per tick so right now we're limiting this this system by just having one input we will actually need eight inputs to balance this system so that sounds pretty crazy so let's do something about that disconnect like this and let's get into the transformer instead which we have over here there are two types of transformers we have the normal one electrum and iron low and medium voltage and then we have the high voltage transformer medium and high iron and high voltage wire coil the high voltage can handle both medium and low voltage you don't need to have two steps but this one can only have a handle low and medium voltage let me demonstrate so this line still has 8000 let's connect that to a transformer and over here we have high voltage going to a relay and then ends up in two of these if you remember one medium voltage wire is 8000 and these high voltage connectors are 4000 so we need two of these to balance one wire and this is exactly what we have here two connectors one wire this wire is not filled up I mean, far from it but if we turn this on right now let's switch that to an input and that to an input you see the figures are rising and we check this we have 8000 rf per tick and that's quite okay i think if you can check from that point to that point we have a 2.5 percent loss but we're getting all oh, these are already empty all right it goes quite quickly when you have a four each so combining like this with a transformer this is a high voltage transformer but the low voltage or the yeah, the normal transformer works in the same way like this you don't have to place it on the ground you can also place it on the post like I've done over here so we have a very similar here but low voltage setup all eight wires connected to one connector and then to the to the transformer you can only connect one wire to the transformer so you will need to have one connector like this to sum up all these and that connected to the transformer and then medium voltage from here to here and then we have a medium voltage over here as well two inputs simple 2000 rf per tick i think that should be quite okay since we have four times 256 and four times 256 so 2000 well they're empty but 2000 is the maximum in this wire through this and then split up on two these are 1024 each okay so that's simple math as long as you remember it it should be quite straightforward and before we take the two final parts let me just demonstrate how important it is to do this correctly you can make do this in the wrong way and it will still work but it won't be as efficient let's take a look at these these are all low voltage capacitors with low medium and high voltage connectors over to this side so if we just turn these on let's see let's place these as inputs input input the maximum output you can have on a low voltage is exactly what you have in a low voltage wire connector so even though i have a medium voltage and a high voltage over here the current transfer rate let's see here 255 254 and then one final 253 
So basically the same, the only difference is that the loss in the wire is the difference, but it's not really that much, so it's not worth having high voltage connectors on low voltage capacitors. All right. And then the next example, same thing, but different capacitors. So we have low voltage, medium voltage and high voltage capacitors, but all with low wire connectors or low voltage wire connectors. And here we have the same thing. Let me just switch this and these. Two fifty three. We'll get the same figures here. Two fifty three. Two fifty three. All of them are, are the same figures, even though we have high voltage, medium, and low voltage. As long as we have the same connectors and wiring, we'll have the same loss and the same in out number. So make sure to balance thing like I've done over here. Low voltage, medium, high with corresponding connectors. Now the fi two final blocks before we wrap this up. You can actually control your, your uh, networks. First we have the breaking switch, the breaker switch. Clay, copper, lever. Just right click to do this and I don't know if it's one or just two wires to connect. Anyway, you can't have that many wires connected to one side. So basically you have this in between perhaps here, not over here. All right. So we have, let's see. All right, out, connector, switch, in. Right click and you'll see the figure rising. And you can also see the redstone output here. We have when in this mode it will output a redstone signal once it when it's uh, closed. And you can just right click with the hammer to invert this so it's the opposite. Easy. And then one final block, the redstone breaker. This is used to, it's the same thing but opposite. So you can with a redstone signal control the, the, the network. Here we have the capacitor out, capacitor in. Just flip the lever and now we are transferring power. And it's quite simple to do. Iron ingots, repeater, redstone, high voltage wire connectors. And with that, I think we have covered quite big part of the power transfer part in this mod. Uh, it can be quite quite a lot to take in in the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, it's quite logical how things work. And uh, when you do it incorrectly, you will get the notification directly. For example, if I try to attach another wire here, then I can't do it. But here I can. Alright, if you have any questions, as usual, just leave a comment and I'll do my best to explain or, or correct myself. In any way, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.